I'm on the uh, trail up to the top of Larch Mountain, the one in Oregon, from uh, Multnomah Falls. I think I'm about 90% of the way up. I know I've been walking since 7 a.m. It's 10.52, so I've been walking almost four hours. Last time it took me four and a half hours to the top. So that should mean I'm about eight-ninths of the way up. We'll see. But one thing that's interesting, last time I was here there was snow. But there was no fresh snow. A couple of nights ago, it looks like they got fresh snow. But it's above freezing now. So the snow on top of the trees here, it's melting and falling down and making little impact craters. So that's why the snow doesn't look particularly smooth. It's easy to walk on though, because the packed snow of the trail, the, the fresh snow is only like less than half an inch deep, like a quarter of an inch deep. So it's just enough to make it a little bit soft, a little bit slippery but I still have good traction. I'm not even wearing any crimpons or anything. I'm just wearing ordinary shoes since I wasn't expecting very much snow and I was, my expectations were right for a change. Last week was the first time I came up here this time of year, so I really didn't know what to expect. I was pleasantly surprised to see there was still about three feet of snow. Well, at the top. Obviously here there's less than one foot. But, you know, definitely some snow. The trail is worn out, but judging by the footprints and the fresh snow, I think I'm only the second person up here since the fresh snow. It is a long hike. Like, uh, Dog Mountain is steeper, but it's only like four miles each way. This one is a lot less elevation gain than Dog Mountain, but boy, it's almost twice as long. So, of course, this time of year, I don't think there's any snow left on top of Dog Mountain. So, it's a little bit easier, too. Now that I think about it, it's Dog Mountain is higher up. So, I bet it has even more fresh snow. Maybe next week I should do Dog Mountain. See what's up there. I was up to Dog Mountain a few weeks ago. It was muddy at the top. Just a few patches of snow in the shade. Nothing like this. Unless you take the back trail through the forest, but nobody goes that way. Oops. Now that it's getting warmer, I'm sinking into the snow a little bit more. It's funny, a hike like this, you go up when it's still kind of cool. So the snow is hard, you don't sink in very much. You come back down in the afternoon, snow is a lot softer, sink in more. That's why it's tricky if you like want to go driving on snow in your four-wheel drive. You might make it up one way just fine when the snow is still hard. Come back down in the afternoon when the snow is softer, get yourself stuck because you didn't realize the snow was that deep. Whoops. Anyway. I guess that's enough snow for 